Today we start the only Gulpy scenario, Gulpy's Island Paradise. I'm Mostly Average Matt, and this is Planet Coaster Career Mode. What's up? It is Wednesday, and that means we are back in our Planet Coaster Career Mode. We are in the last of the medium objectives. Uh, this one, Gulpy, I don't remember what the overall title of it's called, but this is Gulpy's Island Paradise. Gulpy wants to turn this remote remote beachfront into a theme park, but he has no idea how to go about it. Can you help? It's going to take skillful management and a full staff roster to keep everything running smoothly. Alright, so right away, uh, this is a really cool looking park. We got a nice like piratey theme, uh, which is really fun, which means we'll be hopefully be able to get the whirly rig. Because I love that ride. Uh, we got our staff, who's somewhat sad. We got Gulpy Energy or Smoothie. I don't remember which one it is. Uh, I don't even think Gulpy is Smoothie, but whatever. Uh, some nice little places over here, forts and whatnot. What do we got over here? What is this? Oh, we got a buried treasure. Wow. Uh, and it just kind of wraps around and comes out over here. So, yeah. There's not a whole lot of land, though. I mean, there's definitely some flat areas, but it's not super huge. So let's take a look at our objectives. We need to attract 500 guests, which should be pretty simple. Achieve a park value of 15,000. That should also be pretty simple. Employ five vendors. Have no staff member leave for two months. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, attract 1,000 guests. Park value of 35. Employ 10 vendors. Build staff buildings with a combined capacity of 10. Attract 1,500, achieve a park value of 60,000, employ 15, and train 10 staff to expert. Alright, so, uh, this is clearly the uh, scenario after they introduced the staff building, so they're trying to teach you how to use the staff building. So that is good. Let's see what... I feel like there's some stuff in here that... There's nothing. Alright, no rides. We got gulpy soda. Okay. We don't have any restrooms or anything else. Okay. I like that. Uh, our rides, as we always do for these scenarios, we go with the main game. That way, if there is anyone who is following along, uh, they can also play uh, as well. So we do have the Monte Leon uh, teacups, Weisshorn, oh, the Whirly Rig, of course. Of course, we'll definitely need the Whirly Rig. Wild Blue, which they must have changed the med on because uh, it's actually pretty decent. Uh, shops and facilities, also. We are going. That is not the right one. Content packs, main game. Uh, so we do have... We already have our staff building. We don't need a staff building yet, I don't believe. Maybe we should have a staff building. Uh, but I think the first thing we have to do is get in some rides. Uh, our track rides. Uh, I think we're probably going to have to do one of these as well. Uh, we... Uh, Oh, we have done a log plume in our shops and drops. We haven't done a river rapids. And that would kind of make sense for this. So we might do that. That would be a cool place for a coaster to go. And then our coasters. We have uh, the mini custom. Uh, Looney Turns, the Dragon, the Wendigo, 
the American Arrow and Cascade, we don't have um, Steel Vengeance. Interesting. We only have Copper Strike. We're not going to build that anyway, but uh, that is something we'll have to pay attention to as well. So I think the first thing that we're going to do, um, we... They don't have any work to do. We have two stalls, but only one of them has a vendor. So we'll get another vendor so they can they can work. Uh, we will need to get a staff building at some point, but let's not worry about that now. Let's try and get some rides in, uh, and we need to. Built. Oh, that's a perfect spot for it. So we're just gonna get this stuff out of here. We don't want the trees. Uh, we do. Oh, that's not the right button. The whirly rig. All right, so we have a very loud wild blue. Uh, I added that in because that'll definitely draw people in at the very least. It'll, it should make us some money. Uh, we added one main sequence to it and our pre prestige and main queue, uh, our main queue scenery, gosh, I couldn't figure out what to say, um, is at 100%. Uh, just because of all this scenery, so I didn't have to place any of that down, which was great. So that allows us to charge 2750 because of the 967 rating. And then the Whirly Rig, um, this is just the standard one that I go for. So we got four clockwise, three, four anti-clockwise. It gives us a prestige of 450, uh, which means we can charge 1250 for it. Uh, and I did have to add some scenery, so I added this skull formation thing here. I added this cluster blueprint and a small tree blueprint. And these should draw people in. Uh, yeah, just look at all the people coming just for these rides. Which is amazing. Uh, we do have a staff building over here that I did not see. Uh, but they should be okay. Uh, what we do need... Oh, see, they, they did the thing like they did in um, uh, Shops and Drops, where they put these boards over stuff. Uh, that's a shop, a shop place. So uh, we're going to go straight in to getting a Chief Beef. Because that will add a vendor in for us. And what else can we get? Hot dog squad? We can get a pizza pen. But I like hot dog squad a little bit better. So I'm assuming this is the same thing. Uh, I guess I need to edit this building. Let's get these boards out of here. And our hot dog squad, which it's a little disappointing that it's going to be a little weird, but it doesn't look bad because it's the natural one, so. We don't really start making money until these, until people start to get full, or get hungry after riding these. So let's see, what else can we do? We only have $2,000. We should start making money. I hope our park management's going to be expensive. Ooh, we do have some stuff, though, that we can research. That'd be nice to get some different pieces up, but I think we need to just go with what we have currently. 
So we have a carousel, which is small, which easily fits in there. We have... Oh, I think that's too tall. Yeah, I think that's too tall to fit in there. So, what about... Monteleone? Nope. Cycola? Nope. I know the teacups won't fit. So we need, and I know Weisshorn's the same as Monteleone. So it looks like we're doing the carousel. All right, so we now have a, the carousel, which uh, we're charging $28 for. Uh, it's $9.89, the way I got that is there's a guide on the Steam Workshop for uh, the best ride sequences for each attraction, the best prestige, and then for, for if you didn't have any scenery. Uh, and this one, you just do a bunch of spins and spin fast. Nine sequences total. It gets our prestige up to 989. So when you divide that by 35, it comes to 28, 25. Right around it down, it's a carousel. These people are probably going to pay, yeah, they're paying $28 to ride a carousel. Um, so those people are a little insane. Uh, one thing I did notice while I was waiting, uh, we need to get, we need to get security. We're going to get two guys. Um, they can start tracking people down. Um, this guy looks a little suspicious. Well, I'm clicking with the... There's no space to queue. There's that's enough fun for one day. All right, he's looking. He's looking like he's he's fine. Uh, we need to start training our vendors because we have a ton of uh, ton of people. We're gonna get another vendor. We get two vendors, um, and then we need to get a bathroom in here. So we have our staff building. Uh, what can we do? Let's see. Let's just throw. Not gonna worry too much about how this looks right now. Get one of those in. Or do we. I know there's a bathroom blueprint. Oh, this is the double one. Uh, where can I throw this? Uh, wait, does that go up? Oh, it does. Wow. Uh, let's see. If we throw this here, we take our paths. Bring that in, so then we have to move. Just move this. Not there. <laughs> it's not where we want that. We also need to move. That's not part of it. We'll move. That's also not part of it. Make that kind of like an overgrown thing there. We got these guys who aren't allowed to walk right there. And there we go. I think we just need to move this a little bit. There we go. Everything's coming out good here. I'm liking it. Nope. Yep. Alright. So now we got bathrooms in there, so that should that'll draw some people away from this this awful area here. We need to do some staff management. Gulpy Rex, he's fine, he's happy. Janitors, they're not getting paid quite enough. 
So we're just going to up them a little bit by $10. Our vendors, they all have high workloads. Uh, we're going to increase theirs, their training and give them $95. All of them are just jam-packed. These guys are already angry and they don't they just started working. We probably need a mechanic. We'll just get one. We don't I don't think we need more than one. And we already have security officers who are not very happy. So let's get them up to $90 as well. Hopefully that'll bring their happiness up a little bit. Uh, we probably need to increase the capacity of this too. There's no perk. Uh, happiness faster. That security staff, better detection. Staff resting here will recover energy slightly faster. So we'll do that. We'll move this up to seven. And we should be all right with that. I don't think. That'll be too bad. We're making good money on our shops and facilities, but I haven't even managed those yet. So if we go into our gulpy soda, uh, it is losing money overall. Last month it made $12. That's not very good. Uh, we're going to move everything up $2. And ice will make us unhappier. Less energetic and thirstier. All right. Oh well, lemon slice, absolutely. Lime cordial. Now oh, let's do every other one. So that fits there. We'll get the lemon slice here, and we'll get a lime cordial here. No ice. We don't need ice. And then our chief beef up fourteen, and up to ten. Happier and thirstier. That's good. We don't want to make... Less hungry. That's good. More energetic, less hungry and thirstier. We're not going to do that one. Happier and thirstier. Happier, more energetic, less hungry, thirstier. Wow. Okay, so uh, you can... Let's just do the opposite. So cheese and bacon. Tomato, lettuce, leaf, gherkins, and ketchup. Off. So that's good. Uh, that's a gulpy soda, so that's the same. And the jumbo hot dog. We need to get 14 and 10. And now we're going to... There we go. So that should get some... That should get people going. We should start making more money with our shops and facilities. We made $500 last month. That's awesome. And uh, we spent a lot of money so far here today. So I am trying to plan out my next steps. And there are so many people out here trying to get food. I think we need another food shop. And we're going to try and keep with the uh, the pirate theme, but we don't really have a cheap beef. Actually, he fits there. not bad. That's fine. We can do that, I think. Yeah, that's fine. 
Another Chief Beef isn't a bad idea. Hopefully that'll draw people further in. And I think we need another ride. We haven't been able to research anything, but let's try and get our... Oh, we don't have enough money. Hmm. Do we have loans? Oh, we're repaying a loan. I didn't see that. Uh, we can take loans, though. That's a lot. So this could be a, like a roller coaster. That could be something that draws a ton of people in. But, you know, maybe we need to get some smaller rides first before we go for that big roller coaster. So everything's at 20%. I think I'm just going to do a small loan for the minute. Or do we wait and see... We're only losing 200. Oof. Do we wait and see? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Uh, oh, we have enough right now. Let's pause it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get the Monte Leon. And let's put this. We don't want this to be super far away from everything else. That's fine. Uh, we will take our entrance and put it over here. We'll take our exit over here. We have $15 now. So we aren't going to have enough. How far? Yeah, I mean, insufficient funds. So we need. Let's just take a loan. It'll just be easier. It's only going to be $1,000. That'll be enough to get our scenery in. We now have our Monte Leone. We also made money so we can pay our loan off here. Which is good. Uh, now, hopefully, this draws in. It. We shortened the sequence. I did not go by Infinity's Guide. I didn't even look at it for this attraction. But uh, we, oh, we do need to put this at full load. Forgot to do that. Uh, there's no music, so I don't have to worry about that. Prestige is 404, and we're charging 11.50 for it. Pretty decent. But then again, you look at how many seats this has. So we're still going to make money because it's going to go through people faster. You can already see just boatloads of people coming coming in here. Uh, we have people still buying a whole bunch of food. Uh, how are we doing on our objectives? We need to employ... Oh, with at least 60% average for one month. Okay, so... Did not see that there was a little check mark or a little arrow by it. So we need to make these people happy. And this should be pretty simple because all you really do. Okay, so he's super happy. Um, so we'll get him up to 110. Get this person up to 110. You pretty much just keep training him up. And. These guys will eventually just be over the moon with their job, as they say. And, yeah, it should be pretty simple. All these guys looking good. kind of think I want to do a work roster here. So let's go ahead and set that up quick. Uh, that, oh, I didn't, didn't even hit the right button. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all of them, I think. Uh, we'll just call this the food court. We will save it. And this is going to be primarily for our vendors. 
So our vendors, he is in the food court. Food court, food court. That way they're not trying to go directly back to their stall. We need them to go to whoever is more tired to try and keep them happy. Uh, we're getting close to a thousand guests, which is good. Our park rating is getting up there. Uh, we don't have the right number of vendors or the staff building. And we don't have anyone to expert. But that's because we're, we're still working on it. We are at 2,000. This line is absolutely huge. So this should, this is probably going to be making us loads of money. Uh, it made us almost a thousand dollars last month, but that's because it didn't have a line. So now it's actually based on capacity for this time, which is fine. We do still have a lot of space back here. So we may I'm thinking because there's a path that you can get to come out here. I'm thinking what we may do is there what is that? Why is that kinda like a little alcove there? That's that alright. Is this making us money? Yeah, it made us two thousand dollars. Is this making us money? Uh, it made us five hundred dollars. And the whirly rig, eight hundred dollars. That's good. So let's do a quick check on our finances. Making fourteen hundred dollars. Our shops and facilities are making good money. Uh, Chief Beef has slowed down back here. People aren't hungry anymore. That's alright. We still need people. Uh, our, yeah, we're, see, now all of a sudden our happiness is going up. We're a quarter of the way through the month, so we should be good. I think what I'm going to do now is we are going to fast forward to the point where we get like ten thousand dollars and then we're going to try and build a roller coaster because i think that will really put us up over the top in terms of money as well as some of our objectives and then we'll also need to build some uh some shops and stalls down on this side so maybe we can do like a little food court area over here to try and make some money as well so Let's go ahead and fast forward, and I'll see you in a bit. All right, we are just about to get our bronze objective. So again, that was a pretty simple, pretty simple objective. Just had to get the staff happiness. We're already at eighty-nine percent, so we are well on our way to completing the second one, which has a seventy percent. But we need to hire some more people, so that's going to be. That's something that we'll need to focus on. Uh, I am not ready to do that because if I overpopulate my shops, I won't make money. So the next thing, yeah, you can see we already, we're not making money with this chief beef and we're not making money with this hot dog squad. So we don't want to keep pushing too much with our shops and stalls quite yet. Uh, we do have a ton of money uh, I did want to try and get to 10,000, but considering we're making so much money, I think that we are okay to start now. And what I'm going to do is I really like the idea of having the path come out here, and this can be like for its own ride. And we'll make it a, uh, a coaster, but which coaster do we want it to be? Thinking... The Cascade would be pretty cool, because I don't want to do a kiddie coaster. I don't want to do the Looney Turns and the American Arrow. We have do so much. We have done so much in the beginning of the career mode series. So the Cascade is something completely different. It's only for adults and teens. That's okay, because we have plenty of other rides that the kids can go on. 
So let's go ahead and we will jump into a speed build. Uh, and I will jump back again. This is not going to be the smoothest ride. It's not, I'm not too concerned about smoothness. Just because that takes too long. And this is career mode. We're trying to finish objectives. Not make it look as good as it possibly could be. So uh, I will see you at the end of the time lapse. So we are back with our Cascade Coaster. For whatever reason, I wanted to go through this opening, but it made it very janky. So we'll take a ride on it here in a second. I also noticed we have a ton of litter, so I increased our, or I trained up our janitors to do a little bit more for us. So I think that'll, that'll help out a lot. Uh, we did get our silver objective of a thousand guests. We uh, still need to increase our park value a little bit, and uh, our vendors we need to get we need to hire seven more as well as increase our capacity for our staff building. But we have tons of people running in here. Let's go ahead and get a quick ride on it and see how it's going to go. I think right now, uh, I think we're in a pretty good spot that we can stop for now. We'll, we do need to create another food court area over in this area. We need to add, we need to add an actual roller coaster rather than this janky thing. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's still not something that's that good. But we need to uh, start expanding a lot in order to get our final objef objectives of sixty thousand dollars. We're only at twenty six or sixty thousand of a park value. So I'm gonna hold off on that for next episode. So thanks for watching. If you see something you like make sure you leave a like. If you saw something that I could have done better make sure you leave it in the comment section. If you want to find some more awesome Planet Coaster content make sure you subscribe to my channel Mostly Average Matt. We got videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Later.